Jeez, man. <laughs> Nonstop action here at Zeno, man. Haven't had a, a second to take it all in, but. Oh, yeah, we got we have tons of fun here, but we got the whole night waiting ahead of us. And right now you're joining us for Dark Blues versus DZ. DZ, a talented player from Long Island who came in with the rest of the Long Island crew tonight. As you can see, Wendy Main versus Dark Blues, one of our premier clouds who's currently catching the hands. I was gonna say, man, I love Dark Blues, a big fan, and uh, I did not expect him to be down by so much so quickly, but geez, here we are. Cloud is a character that we're certainly familiar with at all, all ends of New York. And DZ gets plenty of practice against the likes of Ippo and Ralphie very often. So it's no okay. surprise to see he has such a firm understanding of how well to combo this character and taking such a convincing lead in game one. And a lot of people sleep on the early combos from Bowser Jr. too. Like, it really just connects. Like, there you go, Mech Scoop in a forward air already at 35%. It's uh, looking rough for my man Dark Blues. And meanwhile, DZ sitting at a leisurely 16%. Mecha Koopa covering stage for him. This is uh, looking for a bit of a bumpy ride for Dark Blues right out the gate. Definitely, man. He's still putting it together, getting the hits when he can. And a Bowser Jr. off stage, probably not the best spot. So could definitely bring it back here. Thanks. DZ feeling himself a little bit with these mix-ups for recovery. He's getting himself back on stage and contesting. Even while Dark Blues has DZ well, it's a kill percentage and with limit. Oh my god, another hammer? Not gonna take it, but geez, Dark Blues is feeling it right now. Almost sealing the deal. All right, I don't know about the landing down airs. I think Dark Blues is kind of caught on at this point. But I think DZ's got a lot of room to work with. Yeah, he still has an entire stock ahead of him. Meanwhile, he's not even going to need it. No, nope. caught him jumping with that wonderful up smash from Junior. A lot of extra hits and a surprising amount of knockback. And man, I've never seen a Wendy result screen in my entire life, but I guess That's I can't what it looks say like. that, yeah. Can't say that anymore. And if the momentum like that game one has anything to say, we might be seeing it again very quickly because that was a very convincing game one at a DC. Look at that read. Crazy, man. It was an explosive start coming from DZ, though. I think if Dark Blues can stop the momentum a little bit, it can be a very different game two, possibly a game three. And I think Battlefield is a good way to do that. So we'll see. Absolutely. The triplat layout is certainly going to be assisting Cloud a lot more than Bowser Jr., typically speaking, as well as the larger blast zones just generally allowing Dark Blues to survive a little longer. And it's going to accentuate more the fact that Bowser Jr. typically has a bit of difficulty killing. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah, besides like that early cart into hammer action that DZ has, not a lot that he can do to Cloud besides Gimp him, but geez. Yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good idea so far. Ooh, nice read again with the up smash. And I love the way DZ is using the Mecha Koopas. Dark Blues just looks so threatened by them. Oh. I genuinely believe that the Mecha Koopa is one of the better items that we often see in competitive play. Yep. It's a shame that it's behind a character that gets countered so easily by so many properties that are commonly seen in competitive play as well. Definitely. But, Not going to do it coast to coast. So. Yeah, nah. But closer than it should have been, I'd have to say. Good stuff from DZ, also just avoiding the ledge. Dark Blues looks like he's really trying to set up some traps and seal the deal, but DZ's been air dodging past and threatening to hit Dark Blues with the hammer instead. Right, ambitious up smash getting punished with the nice forward air. And both these guys at a really high percent right now. Well, only one of them is now. Yep, that was the breaks for that lead. But uh, 116 on Dark Blues, it's certainly not within the realm of possibilities of Dark Blues holding the stock if he stays as evasive as he has throughout this game, too. That being said, DZ hot on his tail, trying to get this kill. Not going to get the up smash read, though. No, I think Dark Blues got hit with a few too many regular get-up reads. Wasn't going to give it to him one more time. But that's going to be the limit, at least. DZ with some room to breathe, but that up smash, going to take the stock. That was amazing timing on that, too. <laughs> Definitely. I would have not put money on that hitting, but that's why I don't gamble. <laughs> With only 31%, that's really not that great of a percentage lead in the grand scheme of Smash 4. So we'll see if DZ is able to bring this back to a tie game soon enough. Yeah, definitely not. And again, Junior can definitely put the hits together at low percent. Mecha Koopa, a good opening, but just goes to set another one up instead of following up. Oh my goodness. Dangerous spot to be in. 
We noticed that DZ has been using the Mecha Koopa a lot grounded instead of grabbing it and using it as a projectile item in its own right. Just letting it move about, control the floor, almost like a game of the floor is lava. And then moving alongside it to confuse Dark Blues on whether or not he actually grabbed it or if it's still an active projectile. Definitely, and he's so good at using it. And then as if it does hit, he's super good at following it up. But he just got caught up the ledge there, man. Cloud's too good. He got caught with the air dodge over the ledge two or three times and then just couldn't get back to the center of the stage. I feel like that that one instance was just a little microcosm of how this matchup typically plays out. Yep. Because yep. Cloud could so easily edge guard with so many convincing tools, but when DZ doesn't have the opportunity to stay free on the ledge with his Mecha Koopa and he's so well covered, Suddenly, you just see the character's luster just die all the way down. Definitely, definitely. But a nice counter pick. We saw it work wonders for DZ in game one. We're going back to the town and city for game three. Could be good. Nice answer to that down here from Cloud. That forward air, but he visits it right back up with a cross slash. Right now, Dark Blue is looking to just chip on the damage, keep DZ at the ledge because he saw that's what was clearly working out for him in game two. And so far, it's looking rather convincing. Bowser Jr. actually kind of has some action at the ledge with that side B into more aerials, but not against Cloud. I mean, he got punished with another cross slash for another like 20% just from trying that before. Ooh. Wow. Nice punish. Jumping over the jabs and getting those up airs in. Yeah, Dark Blue seems to have really come alive now, putting on substantial amounts of damage onto DZ. However, Percentages are rather high on both sides, and considering the smaller blast zones of town and city, we could see a repeat of game one. Yeah, 82% could be a nice side B into a hammer hit from DZ. Oh my goodness, both these players wanting to just get the stocks off as soon as they can. The back are not killing just yet, even at 130%. And on town, again, that's why I don't gamble. And F smash not hitting, but that hammer might, oh my goodness. That was a very interesting string of hits coming out of DZ. For sure. Still staying creative despite how dire the situation looks. He's gonna eat an up air for his efforts though. A good old fashioned up air, just the one good hit. Don't have to worry about those multi hits not connecting. But nice back air, gonna send Cloud off stage. Oh, no up smash getting the early kill this time. Just trying to figure out what to do out of shield. And Abandoned Ship actually covering the poor landing out of there. I like the idea, but nothing substantial out of it. Just sort of covers I don't know, that bad approach. And now it looks like DZ is fishing a little too much for that side B. I think Dark Blues will be fine. Take, just getting the hits in, he knows he's got limit. And very close to sealing the deal. It seems that Dark Blues has figured out that the timing up here just right beats out Koopa Clown Car. All right, voids that back air and gets a back throw. Easy in a rough spot. Oh! He stays right. into miracles though, managing to slip through with Abandon Ship 2, gets in that hammer hit, and all of a sudden we're looking at 88% on DZ's last stock, but Dark Blue's also at last stock. Well, could have been a big opening, but Dark Blue's thankfully not getting hit by that Mecha Koopa, knocking DZ off stage with the fair, and getting limits. Looking rough for the Wendy main. He just can't seem to land. He's gonna have to return himself to ledge or figure out some way of covering that ledge. Mecha Koopa not gonna be the answer. Definitely not. Again, stuck at the ledge. Decides to go back. I like that though. The peel away back, forcing Dark Blues to make a choice on where he's going, but amazing DI from that. All right, DZ surviving at 167, and that wasn't a particularly bad back air. No, Dark Blues trying to get that dash tag, not going to get it, but oh, the going to do it. Just awesome. By the books, ledge coverage. Going to give Dark Blues that third game on Town and City. That's how it works. You're right. <laughs> I can't argue with that. Simple and effective. <laughs> yep.